Veterans Day 2010 was a memorable occasion as our community announced Heroes Homecoming, a planned celebration for Veterans Day 2011 that will officially welcome home the veterans of the Vietnam War. This celebration will coincide with the opening of the North Carolina Veterans Park in downtown Fayetteville. To give us all the details, here is the press conference in its entirety. Today we proudly announce Heroes Homecoming as our way of showing all Vietnam veterans that we remember and appreciate their courage, their sacrifice, and everything that they've done to defend our freedom, now and forever. American soldiers returning from Vietnam never received the homecoming that they deserved, and Fedville wants to rectify that. We have a unique bond with all Vietnam veterans, as our town was the point of departure for hundreds of thousands of soldiers. As the nation's first military sanctuary, we give our brave Vietnam veterans the welcome home they so richly deserve. Fedville will host the Heroes Homecoming as the biggest commemorative reunion of its kind for 10 days leading up to Veterans Day 2011, featuring celebrations, discussions, fellowship, and memories for all of those who attend. It will be a story of education, of dialogue, and celebration. It will be a story of a long-deserved welcome home. During this time, we'll hear and feel the real-life stories of heroes in our community. We'll hear the stories of our native-born Vietnamese, a proud people working, waning, working hard and working to find the American dream. People like Cleen Van Vo, one of the boat people displaced after the fall of South Vietnam, who made their way to America in search of freedom and now finds himself as a successful engineer at the DuPont facility here in Fedville. We'll hear stories of the proud young men and women of this community and throughout America that answered their nation's call, a call quite different but no less important than the 911 call of today. Men like Command Sergeant Major Robert M. Patterson, called to service from the textile mills of Massey Hill, awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his gallant service as a member of the 17th Cav in La Chu, South Vietnam in May 1968. And we'll hear the stories of a proud community, America's hometown, that reflects as it does now the values and opinions of our country. A city that has rested, wrestled with the stigma of that unpopular war for over 50 years. A city that today embraces its honorable role at a military community and proudly serves as a sanctuary for those that defend us. Heroes Homecoming will promote informed dialogue, discussion, and celebration to allow our community, perhaps for the first time, to discuss that period of time in our nation and our community's history and to deal with the complicated emotions arising from everybody's personal stories. As Mayor Schiavone has said, next November, Fayetteville will be holding a long overdue welcome home ceremony. We want to recognize and celebrate the Vietnam veteran and provide a homecoming that many of us never received. We spent our time in Vietnam wishing we were home. Whether you were on, your job kept you on the base, you were a grunt in the field, you were on the brown water, or you were in the skies, we all were in combat. All we want most of the time was just to be home. When we got here, we were treated so poorly, it was often safer to hide our service. When I came home, they told us not to wear our uniforms <clears throat> when, um, when we got back to the States. They told us to carry civilian clothes, change into at the airport, which we did. It didn't bother us then. We were happy to be home. We were outcasts, expected by a lot of people in America to want to apologize for our serving our country. We certainly weren't heroes and didn't expect to be treated as such. The simple thank you would have been welcomed. This past Saturday in the Veterans Day Parade here in Fayetteville, a vet Vietnam veteran I was marching with made the comment that was the first time he'd ever been thanked for being a Vietnam vet. No matter the politics, Vietnam veterans did not deserve to be ignored or treated with disrespect. Remember those of my generation of Americans who never came back, and worse, those who have never been mourned. As a Vietnam vet, I would like to invite all Vietnam veterans, not just, from North, not just from North Carolina, but from across America, to join us next year in our celebration. To all veterans, especially Vietnam veterans, thank you and welcome home. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 
I am Ling Sherman, a long-time resident of Fayetteville, and I'm here today to represent the Vietnamese community as a founding member of the Vietnamese American Association of Fayetteville, a group dedicated to maintaining Vietnamese culture and traditions, and also maintaining harmonious relations with our fellow Americans. In the late 1950, the first American soldier arrived in my country, South Vietnam, at the request of our president, Ngo Dinh Diem. There was much concern about the increasing attack against our people by communist terrorists known as Viet Cong, and the possibility of attack by the North Vietnamese Army. The arrival of the American forces and their valuable assistance to my people in South Vietnam were very much appreciated and needed. During the ensuing war year until 1973, over 58,000 Americans gave their lives and nearly 200,000 were wounded in the defense of Vietnam. Many Vietnamese died and were wounded as well. Millions of families suffered terrible losses. Following the war, a half million Vietnamese Jews to relocate to America rather than live under the communist domination. The Vietnamese community here in Fayetteville is part of that group, including many former Vietnamese soldiers who survived the war and communist re-education camps. We work here, we raise our children here, contribute to the American economy, and have become loyal citizens. We respect and appreciate what America has done for us, and we love our adopted country. During this hero homecoming, we Vietnamese wish to recognize both the American veterans and their Vietnamese brother soldiers for the sacrifice they make to protect us and our freedom. Thank you for your bravery. Thank you for your help to our families, and may God bless you for your unforgotten contribution to Vietnam and our people. Thank you. I stand to represent all of the alums and graduates of Fayetteville State University who are veterans. I also stand in a similar way to represent the alums and graduates of all University of North Carolina schools. I pledge to commit the services, the educational services especially, of Fayetteville State University to help educate this community about the difficult politics of war, whether Vietnam, today, the Korean War, or World War II. On a personal note, I was a college student in the 1960s, and I was caught up in the confusion and the difficult conversations of whether or not Vietnam was in a moral war Yet the reality of Vietnam really came home to me when my best friend from high school was killed in Vietnam. It was at that moment that I realized that there is no politic that is more important than the life of one that you care for, especially one who has served his country with dignity and courage. And I think the Veterans Day Parade has brought to Fayetteville, has brought us home. It brought everybody together. Uh, this community has been in a lot of wars, but uh, we went from Korea, 53, until 98 without a Veterans Day parade. And I think it's only fitting that we say thank you to our veterans in the appropriate way, and, and I think the parade brings it together. And it brings the veterans together where they can s talk with each other. Uh, they get up on the hill here and, hey, I remember you. And uh, this is great. And I think when we look forward to 2011 with our theme, it's going to be really great to look over at each other and say, welcome home. And it's about time. Thank you. With the onset of World War II, several organizations mobilized to support the growing needs of the US military. President Franklin D. Roosevelt created a synergy between these organizations to form the USO, United Service Organizations. The USO's original mission of supporting service members and their families remains unchanged. Next year, the USO will commemorate 70 years of service 
to our armed forces and family members. We will host events throughout North Carolina and here in Fayetteville, remember the opening of the nation's very first USO Troop Center with a historical marker. The USO of North Carolina will welcome home our Vietnam veterans and celebrate their service with the entire community. As you know, we're really pushing ourselves to be a global school system where we are a part of a bigger piece than just North Carolina. And so for the period of time when we're celebrating next year, we're going to realign our curric curriculum to not only study through history and things such as that of Vietnam and our, our own relationship in this community, but we're going to do some things around dance and music so that in fact we can make it a cultural event in our schools. We hope we'll also plan to take advantage of all the guest speakers that are going to come, including our Vietnam veterans, to have them in front of our students. Who better can tell the story of Vietnam than the veterans? And so we're going to find venues for our young people to go hear, see the films, and in fact, enjoy the experience and help welcome home these brave soldiers. The third thing we're going to do is we're going to have our second, and we're going to make it an annual event, Operation Recognition. Operation Recognition is an event we started to basically give back from our children to the, to the uh, veterans of the wars from Vietnam, Korea, World War I, World War II, and that time period for all the people who gave up their high school education to go to war. We were graduated. Last, last week we had 24 uh, high school graduates who dropped out of school all the way back to 1939. So next year we will start out again with what we call simply Operation Recognition and we'll have our second high school graduation as a part of this event. Thank you. For a long time we have wished to do uh, a play called Miss Saigon. And it's a very large one. Everybody recognizes it by the helicopter. Well, I don't know that we'll have a helicopter, but we will have something to simulate that. And it is a great opportunity that the mayor and all of this committee has, um, has generated in us an excitement about celebrating this time. Let me just uh, tell you what they tell you when they sell you the play. It is, um, it is based on Puccini's Madame Butterfly, and it is to the modern world, a moving testament to the human spirit and a scathing indictment of the tragedies of war. In the turmoil of the Vietnam War, an American soldier and a Vietnamese girl fall in love only to be separated during the fall of Saigon. It's a story that we know very well. Miss Saigon is an epic, daring pop opera which is universal in its emotional power even uh, as it deals with the controversial contemporary issues. We hope that so many will come to see this play and recognize in it the story that we experienced in the 1960s when uh, 50 years ago a theater was founded on the top of Haymount Hill. Thank you, Mayor, for pulling us all together. This is going to be the greatest thing that has happened to us in a long, long time. Again, uh, Fedville today announces our city will lead the country in providing our Vietnam veterans the welcome home they so richly deserve, a true hero's homecoming. We encourage you to get involved in this exciting and rewarding project. Visit our website at www.heroeshomecoming.com. Volunteer to get involved. Take time to participate in the community discussions that we have planned. Learn about our national history and this community's unique role in it. Thank a Vietnam veteran, invite them to Fedville, and help us to welcome them home. Let us commit to each other today. There will never be another generation that doesn't understand the relationship between Vietnam and Fedville. That there will never be another American that doesn't appreciate the heroes from that era. That we will never forget the sacrifices they made as they answered their nation's call and let us commit ourselves that there will never be another Vietnam War veteran who leaves us without receiving the welcome home from this country that they so rightfully deserve. Heroes Homecoming. Fedville leading America's efforts to say welcome home. Thank you for coming.